Hi guys, welcome to ET Land. I make vlogs about handheld setup tutorial, game introduction, anything about Digimon, anime, toy, ASMR, and anything related to otaku. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are interested in these topics. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use multiplayer on PPSPP. So first of all, you have to go to your network and internet. Then click Wi-Fi and choose the Wi-Fi that you have been connected to. You'll be able to find your IP address when you scroll down. Remember, only the host's IP address is needed. This is how it looks like on Android 8.1 and I'll show you how it looks like on Android 6.0 after this. On Android 6.0, the settings interface looks a bit different. You can click on Wi-Fi and then click the three dots on the top right hand corner and then click Advanced and then you'll find the IP address at the bottom. Once you have got your IP address, remember it and you need it in PPSPP. The next step is to set up a host for the multiplayer. So first open PPSSPP. So once it's loaded up, you go to the settings. I'll talk about my own PSP optimization later, but first of all, let's go to networking. So here's my host device. Make sure you check the box for enable networking. The next one is not important, so I'll skip it. And then you need your IP address here. So input your ID IP address you have just found out. Also check the box for enable built-in pro at hook server. I have to say that this IP address may change once you have turned off and turn on your Wi-Fi again. So make sure you go and check your IP address every time. I'm showing you how to do multiplayer on Monster Hunter 3rd as an example, but this will also apply for other games if they are available for multiplayer. Once you have entered the game, there should be a multiplayer lobby or something like that on in your game. So you can go there and enter that lobby for your host first. And then you do the same for your other device. So now I'm going to enter a room for online multiplayer. So once I've done this, I'll put down this host device and I'll set up my other device. You can see that there's only one person here. So now I'm going to set up my second device and I'm going to open PPSSPP just like I have done on my first device. And then I'll go to settings. So we also go to networking here. The only difference between hosts and other devices is that we are not checking the box for enable built-in pro at hook server. Though we still need to enter the IP address of the host. Okay, that's all for the settings. So let's go into the game and see how it works. Now let's go to the online multiplayer room that has been created by the host. So we can see that the second player has entered the room. So now there are two people in the room. Okay, so that's it for setting up the PSP online multiplayer on Retro Pocket 2, but you still have to do some optimization in order to have a smooth gameplay. Here are the optimizations that I have been using for PSP, not just only for multiplayer, but also for my daily gameplay. 
please don't ask me why I'm using this or that because all of the settings I'm using are based on my testing on different games and it works well for me. So that's all for this video. If you find this useful, please like my video and please subscribe to my channel for support. Bye!